today they depend on technology, not on the brain as much. Like uh, we don't have calculators to, for, to figure, we figure in our head, and people have calculators, they look at the cat, do that, you know, and then they get away from you in your head. Get up. Ooh. So all of this technology is with horsepower. Well, I guess it, if you call it technology. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's people that live more basic than Mennonites. Well, there's countries where the people that barely have a little hut. And actually, our lifestyle is classed among the rich. We are, actually. We, don't, we can't, com we can't, can't complain that we are, we're poor. Get up. Ooh. Are, are you not afraid for your uh, fingers? Oh, I've been doing this for quite a while already and never had much problem. Oh my God. I tried to, I tried to uh, be careful. <laughs> These are your blades? Yeah, those are used ones. Okay, and how often do you have to change them? Oh, depending, but uh, one blade can last up to six months if I not, don't cut too many nails. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I, I cut some used lumber and have nails or screws in, and that, that's hard on them. But they're, they're uh, hard tipped, and they last quite a while. Actually, there was a, I have a friend living in, in Texas, mm -hmm. and he comes down here maybe almost once a year to visit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's got a little factory that makes these, right, these here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, sometimes he brings a half a dozen just gives to me. Oh, for, for nothing? Yeah. Nice guy. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Ooh. Ooh. Most times when I when I start uh, stop sawing, it doesn't hear, and then he stops. He, he learned it. Who is the first person that thought of all this idea uh, technology? I had a thing like this down in Perryway, when I lived in Perryway. And I liked it real well, so when I come up here, I made me another one. I, I just made it myself. How did you think of all this? I had down at the Perryway, I had a b belt, uh, like a, about a three inch wide belt that went around there like that. And that uh, I had to splice it and that made me some problems. So I thought I'd try a cable here. And that cable worked pretty good. Uh, looks all right now. But is there like someone that's an engineer that thought of this? Like how all this stuff like put it together? No, I, I just thought it myself. You didn't go to school for this? No. No, it just comes automatically. <laughs> that was a, a differential from a, a car or a truck. And then cut it off at the bottom and put it down there. And then that makes my double gear, you know. And, and it also gears it up a little. Really like that, you know, because if this this goes up and down, and the other goes at the side that way. So it have to have a bevel gear in there. We call a bevel gear that turns it. Okay, get up. Get up. Ooh. And how long will this work for, this uh, this horse? Oh, I really put him a half a day at a time. Okay. Like this work here is not very hard work. It's just kind of light work. It's just, but if I put my blade up and rip the th thick boards, then that takes more power. Okay. Get up. And does this only know your voice, or does it know everybody's voice? Uh, anybody's horse could work in here. Well, I need to try my get up then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> well, down at sawmill, you probably saw them down there, didn't you? Yeah. That horse, that, that they put in eight horses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. But this here's just a small one. This is 
one horse operation. I could, sometimes I put in two blades at the side of each other and cuts wider because I just want to cut that out, you know. Get up. <laughs> It listens. And how do you say stop in your language? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's for horses or oxen. Get up. I've got a whip here too, you know. Oh, so when it doesn't listen, you'll use this. Yeah, sometimes when he doesn't want to go right away, I just pull this down and then he that works. Whoa. Next time you see him, let's leave So hold on. Yeah, pull no, the no I, just want, I just want to see it move. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready. And does that hurt? Not real bad, no. It just touched him a little bit, that little chain there. Aye. Uh, oh. And what do you do with the excess wood? Or, or the excess... Uh, uh, sawdust. Sawdust. Uh, I scatter it around sometimes when I put some here on the floor. And chicken sometimes house. I put it out in the field or something. Chicken house. And uh, the piece of scrap wood, we burn that in our cook stove. Okay, so nothing goes to waste. No, I made three of these type uh, things already here one for our, our own people couple and then one outsider. He lives on the other side of uh, Belize City and he wanted one. He, he's got a kind of a children's home, children's home and he has children to take care of and, and he would like to come in with the, the same rights that the Mennonites have, you know, here in, in Belize and uh, he wanted to prove him that he bought a buggy and a horse and he wanted to prove him that he's a Mennonite <laughs> but he wasn't really. <laughs> Did he speak the language? Uh, English, just English. Ah. Get up. You can pull it now, don't go, you can pull it. Get up. <laughs> I don't want to hurt it. <laughs> I just don't want to hurt the animal. <laughs> And this is helping with what? What, this here? Yeah. That's a rasp, wood rasp. That's it. You can, like, you can take, take the edge off. Ah, yeah. Well, let's see if these here fit. And this is only for bees. Only for bees, yeah. Uh, that should fit pretty good. And so you make one case a day, or oh, one? I just I just as an order for for ten of these. That's all I've got right now. Oh, oh there is a complete hive. Did you see that? No. See, that's the, that's what I'm making now. These here. Like okay, that. I see. Finish. Like that. Then here, if they get what they call foundation, it's. Uh, Wax, bees wax, a thin sheet in the middle in here, and, that, and that's, uh, it's uh, printed right the, uh, the size of their cells, you know, and then they, they build on it, and that, that way it, they stay straight. Then once they're filled with honey, you just lift them out one at a time. So you're building 10 of these, 10 cases? No, just 10 of these frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're building one, one. For one, yeah. For one. And something like this is going to cost like how much money? Altogether, I charge two hundred dollars, like okay. this. Okay, but that takes a whole day or a whole week or. Uh, I can barely make it in a day. Wow. This here is long. Oh, now you go. And you're also putting the screws in. Uh, yeah, they're nails. The nails. Mm -hmm. yeah. And are you also making the case this yeah, case as I well? I made it all. I made it all completely. This here. Uh, I had orders for two complete, and the one took it already and didn't hear so he didn't take it yet. And then the, another order is for just ten of these. He says he's got the case, but just wants these frames. And why do you paint it white? Uh, that's reflective of the sun so it won't be so hot. 
You know, it's black, it absorbs. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and white reflects. Yeah, okay. And then here, and how many bees are going to fit in something like this? Well, that depends. A lot of times they have big swarms. Then you can put another one on top, another one on top, and even more. Sometimes they have up to five or four or five hive. And, and are the bees for uh, for business or just for local consumption? Uh, mo mostly local consumption. That they, they sell it. It's pretty expensive. I forget now what the price of a liter. Oh, you guys sell by the liter? Uh, quart. They go, that's about like a liter. There's that little strip right there. And, and, how, and this, can they also come out of here? Yeah, they go in and out. That's the only place for in and out. They go. They get, bring their uh, uh, pollen. Yes. Stuff like that in and... And delivered and they they work together. It's a nice example for us to work together. <laughs> now, do they also pollinate the uh, nurseries and and the fields? Oh yeah, they, they, they claim that without bees, you, we, uh, humans couldn't exist. And what is this thing? That's a war what they call a wash machine. And you made this? Yeah. That so we put the water in it and the clothes, and then we this here it goes like that, and that flops it one side to the other, you know, and that, that beats it out. So the truth is, this community is not doing nothing by uh, uh, technology, like nothing Are with uh, elect electronics. Only thing, we go out and buy something or then, then something, but they, we make our own wash machines and stuff. Because in shipyard, the women have the... They have a motor. They have a motor, they have the electric ones. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Okay, this is by hand. Yeah. And this is still being hand. made. Uh -huh. And th you're selling this to your local community, yeah, correct? It's, uh, it's a man up in Birdwalk. Uh, a young uh, man that is getting planning to get married, and then he ordered this he, for his wife. And this is going to cost us what? Uh, I'm charging two hundred twenty-five dollars. So this thing is huge, and this is as much as the bees. Yeah, but this here takes a lot more time with the frames to build this inside. This here is just a shell. <laughs> okay, more or less. but it has that agitator inside. Yeah. So the first time this is new. So the first time you wash it, do you have to? Do you have to um, like clean it out multiple times well, with water? Maybe a little bit, not very much. Usually not. Uh -huh. And and in, in comparison to like a normal washer, how good does it wash? Like how clean? Uh, that depends on. It. it does pretty good if you if, if you're strong enough. <laughs> and it's only the women that do this. Mostly, I help sometimes. I help my wife sometimes. We've this got is another one back there where we use for all this. This is so fascinating. <laughs> Most of the people around here have this type. There's a few that have a, a little different type kind of around. Uh -huh. They run with a horsepower. Like I could rig one up here too for my wife. But we don't have much clothes to wash. <laughs> oh, so this will spin by. You'll put the handle instead of the handle. You'll you could, uh, but what they usually what they run with the horse. It's a round one, a, a, more like a, a half barrel, and then that turns, flops around, you know, and that that what they use for the horse turns and runs it. So if you had like many children, you would have oh, that. Yeah, there's a few that here that have that, but uh, most of them have this type here. From a from a car? Is this from a pickup truck? Uh, it looks like it. I think it's a little bigger than a car. Yeah. And how did you learn all of this like stuff from your dad? Yeah, it's just. Uh, I don't know. Some people have a, are born that way. Okay. And others, others are born another way. Maybe that's all I know. It, it just comes kind of automatic for me. You, you know, I think like people that grow up in this the community. I think you guys have a faster brain to pick to learn things very quickly. Uh, I, I I think I know what you mean because today they depend on technology, not on the brain as much. Like uh, we don't have calculators to for to figure. We figure in our head. And people have calculators, they look at the cat, you know, and then they get away from you in your head. So with the Amish people or the Mennonites, you guys work until your 60s, 70s, or do you guys slow down and like just retire? Uh, some do. I, I retire too, but uh, not with a paid uh, pension. I mean, I just do my own work, what I need. I don't work like, I used to be a farmer. I, I farm and raise crops, and but uh, I'm, I'm getting old now, so. I just be content with this kind of work, good enough for me. And you make enough living to yeah. to buy food we don't and have big, we don't have big expenses. Uh, our health is good. We don't have much hospital bills and anything like that either. 
But if we do, if you know, uh, we have that system among us that if somebody has a hospital bill, we all chip together and help pay it. And we don't have insurance. You know, we t that's our insurance. We all help each other. That's a beautiful way. It is. It's, it's actually the best way. Yeah. And is the new generation learning how to do this and do these systems, or are they kind of... As our children grow up, they get used to it. They help and get along, they, they learn it. Just just comes to, to you because they learn from youth. Get up. My dad, he was a carpenter and a mechanic and whatnot. Is this, are these machines from the U.S.? This here? Yeah. Probably. And what is this I called? Bought, I bought it used down here. What is this called? Uh, vice. Vice. Yeah. Like a vice grip. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're pretty small for the nails. Oh, and he'll pull it out. <laughs> And do bees only want wood, or can they also use plastic uh, trays? Uh, now they're starting to make plastic, uh, thin sheet of plastic, then they cover it with beeswax, because they won't build on, the, on plastic. They have to have beeswax. They melt the wax and put it on, the, on each side. That makes it stronger, because the plastic is stronger. The beeswax in itself is, is, little, uh, is weak. It's not strong enough. Okay. And, and so so what so plastic is becoming better it's stronger it's stronger yeah that's the main thing I guess and you can make those by machine right uh, we don't make it we can buy it okay there's a company that that uh, specialize in bee bee equipment well, that's a frame now and you have ten of these to do ten yeah oh my it's goodness a mixed ten over here. And, and how often do people get, like, do you need an order, to do, do you do an order, once a week, once a month? Oh, not very many. This here's just, uh, well, I made that uh, over there probably three months ago. And now I got an order for another 10, just to 10 frames. Okay, one box or? Yeah, for, for one box, yeah. One unit. Mm-hmm.